I'm gonna show you how to make a beautiful veggie enchilada. This is a great Mexican inspired dish. It's a great way to get veggies into your life in a cool contemporary way that makes you feel happy, right? So let's start off with the tomato sauce. Very, very simple. Get yourself a large casserole pan, right? We are gonna prep in this and we're gonna cook in this and we're gonna serve in this, right? So one thing to wash up, we like that. I am gonna blacken and scald vegetables. So let's get flavor happening. So this tomato sauce happens using peppers, uh, four tomatoes, as ripe as possible, a uh, handful of spring onions, I'll nick one out for the salsa later, a uh, couple of garlic cloves. Um, it is simple as that. So look, let me show you a cool way to de-seed the peppers. Use one thumb and shove it in there. And then you can crack it open, right? Tap out the seeds. We'll put the peppers into our pan. So thumb in, tear, tap, squash. Spring onions, if you've got a gas hob, you might not, but if you have, um, you can just put these onions on the gas and scold them up. So let's just jiggle those about. Same thing with the tomatoes, but I'll do that in the pan. Two garlic cloves can go in. There's no oil in this pan, it's dry. Like you're dry frying, you're scalding, you're charring. Chili, you take your choice, right? But what I would suggest is just take the little green bits off the end. And I would probably advise removing the seeds just because that's where the heat is. If you don't like hot food, that's fine. Use a little bit of chili in the background. It doesn't have to blow your mind or even be registered. It can just be there, supporting all the other flavors. This little bit of blackening here is just what I wanted. If you just have a look here, can you see we've just steamed it and charred it. See how that's just soft now. So that's what we want. We're gonna take our liquidizer, a lot of parents talking about the trouble and strife of getting the good stuff in their kids. And the, the reality and the true answer is, is there's no one silver bullet. It is a lifelong battle. And if you get it right half the time, you're extraordinary. So don't beat yourself up, parents. So in here, I'm gonna add just a kiss of olive oil. I'm gonna put a little bit of coriander in there. I love using herbs, I just think it's a, a beautiful thing. Um, so I'll just take a little wadge of this. Like, let's just put the stalks in there, right? Don't waste those, beautiful flavor. Um, I might take a little cup of water in there just to get it going. Definitely a pinch of salt and pepper. Secret ingredient for me is either lime or vinegar. Um, as we are trying to salute our Mexican brothers and sisters. Lime is such a brilliant fruit. Lime skin has gone in, we've rolled it, and that kind of breaks all the little capsules. So look at that, these are nice and juicy. Let's say one and a half limes goes in, um, whiz this up. Right, 30 seconds. How many recipes around the world just have a basic tomato sauce? So it's not hot chili hot, but it's just full of flavour. So I'm going to put half of this on here now. That will actually start softening um, all the caramelisation off the bottom of that pan. And now let's do the filling. It's really, really simple. Black beans, I'm going to drain it like that. Look, have a look at that. They're really amazing. They're the most beautiful colour, really nutritious, great source of protein, really, really cheap. We'll season it with salt and pepper. If you want to give a little kind of twang. The chipotle chili sauces have a smokiness and a deliciousness. You could use the smoked paprika, really, really nice. In here as well, I'm gonna put a little bit of feta. So, feta is not Mexican, but I can't get any Mexican cheeses. But actually feta, which is normally over salads raw, is brilliant cooked. So what I'm gonna do is get a fork and fork it up. I like to go half mushy, like mashed potato, and half semi-chunky, just for texture. You can dress this with some nice heart-healthy fats, olive oil, cold-pressed olive oil, to give you flavour, to give you that shine. Let's see how I'm just mushing up the feta, some big, some small. And you can put a little bit of herb in there as well, just a bit. Go chunky, go fine, there's no right or wrong. That is the filling. We're gonna wrap that in this. So, I'm using tortilla. If you want it to be more traditional, use the corn tortilla. We've got eight, right? So two each. So lay out your eight tortilla. Let's stuff these bad boys. 
let's just do a good spoon on each one. Okay, filling done. So I'm gonna turn that pan on just to get it going, why not? I'm gonna cook it straight away. So I'm gonna get that sizzling and I'm just gonna squeeze it and roll it. So that's coming up to a simmer. Let's place in our beautiful little wrapped black beans. Snug them in there and the sauce goes in and around them. Um, I'm gonna pour on the rest of this sauce. As it bakes, some of this sauce will disappear. Everyone's pan is a little bit different, but ultimately our job is to cover these tortillas, right? If you wanna cover it in some cheddar cheese, you can. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this feta on top, like this. I quite like some of the tortillas showing themselves, the edges. I quite like crispy bits. So this goes in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 Fahrenheit. Uh, when is it ready? When it's golden and blipping and looking gorgeous. 20, 30 minutes is more than enough to make a delicious salsa. And this one is a little bit different than your standard one. Let me show you, it is so fast, so fast, I think you're gonna love it. So I'm gonna take like four sweet corn. Um, you can use a pan or a griddle pan if you wish. Can you see how quickly it's just scalding? I'm just trying to get that smokiness happening, so all I have to do is literally just turn it. Let's turn that into a cool little contemporary salsa. So look, turn that gas stove off. Obviously these are quite hot now. Get a little bowl, put your cob or cobette in there, hold it with your finger at the top, get your knife and just very simply run it down like that. Turn it, run it, turn it, run it. Very simple to do this. There is your sweet corn. The juice of your lime goes in for that acidity. Let's try and go quite delicate with the spring onions. Go as fine as you can. So just a little onion, just to give it a little hum. Herbs, use any herb you like. I'm using coriander. Seasoning, for sure. Pepper, yeah, you can join the party. Chili, a little or a lot, it's, it's, it's your vibe. And then just mix it up. Mmm, sweet, smoky, fresh, crunchy. Really, really delicious. Okay, so the enchilada has had 25 minutes. Let's have a little look. It smells amazing in here. Come on, look at that. That is proper. Oh, that is comfort food. Look at that, that, imagine that, putting that in front of your friends or your family. Delicious, and all I would do is finish that with a little fresh coriander for a punch of color. Look at that, exciting food. Right, so let's put it together. I've got a little sour cream here. I've got the salsa, take it to the table. Let's get a little plate. Just get in there. Look how it gets crispy around the edge. It just is beautiful. Hopefully I can get it out in one. Sometimes it wants to fall off. Let's scrape up a load of that lovely sauce. Look at that. So look, let's put it down there. I love to have that contrast with the sour cream. You could use yogurt if you haven't got sour cream. And some of that beautiful salsa just lobbed on one side. Maybe a little shake, chili sauce. Let's have a little try. Mmm, wow. Look at it, look, look at that lovely little mouthful. It's crispy, it's got sort of spiciness, but then it's fresh with that salsa and that sour cream. Mm. So there you go, guys. That is a one pound wonder and a family favorite. So guys, what are you waiting for? Take care, happy cooking, and lots of love.